Okay then, to do these, we gotta first remove the skid panel. A little plastic protective cover. That's the hardest bit to be honest. You got loads of little plastic clips. And then these two bolts here. Okay, so first of all you gotta take that skid plate off, skid cover, a little protective undercover. That's two bolts, one each side, and then loads of little plastic clips that break on you. So if I was you, before you do the job, buy them plastic clips, because you will break some. Then cheap. And then... You have to come underneath here. And you can just fit your arm at the back of here. I actually undone this wire out of the way to give it some more room. And that right there is your knock sensor. You have to get that wire off. You have to put one hand up, get that wire off. And then get the socket that fits it. A normal sized half inch ratchet with the right size on it will just reach up there. You have to undo it a little bit by bit until you can get it out of my hand. And then when you thread it back in, it's hard to thread the new one in. But thread it down with your hand all the way until you can't tighten it anymore. And then just nip it up with your ratchet. Quite hard job, there ain't a lot of room. Like I say, I took this wire off here from that bolt to get that out of the way. Just to give myself a bit more room. But it ain't too hard, but it's just awkward. Because you ain't got a lot of room in between this engine and the other stuff. So that's it. I had the fault code, changed that, and now it's gone. So it works.